Good morning, everybody. It's Linda from Faithful Fields Homestead. We are on our way to church this morning to do a little bit of praising, and uh, we're going to take you along for the ride. Show you a little bit part of our town. guys at our little church so we're gonna go in and uh, have service and a uh, little cute church that we belong to here and uh, we're gonna go in and we'll see you guys in about an hour okay guys back again um, we just got done with church and now we are going to uh, be on our way to town to pick up some more canning supplies uh, some more jars. Uh, we found some old jars in the barn. So um, we've been using them, but we got a lot of canning to do. We've already canned uh, some spaghetti sauce, barbecue sauce, uh, salsa, uh, pizza sauce, and um, I still got another whole pot to do for some spaghetti sauce. And we still got tomatoes coming in like crazy. We'll show that later. We'll go down to the garden and see what's going on down there. Um, not much uh, is happening other than tomatoes and some peppers. Uh, and we will be starting our fall garden soon. So we got a lot of work to do down in the garden. But as I said, we're on our way to town. We got to get some stuff for canning and um, Today we have carrots that we need to can, some more tomato sauce, and I got a bunch of blueberries, so hopefully some blueberry pie filling and some blueberry jam. We'll see how that goes. So um, we'll catch up with you later. Bye. All right, so we've been trying to continue this video since Sunday. I want to continue with Monday, but we had some family issues, so now it's Wednesday, and we're going to try and get this uh, garden tour done before the uh, month is actually over. It's uh, July 31st already, so we're like two weeks behind on getting this video done, so I'm going to take it around and see what we got going on, and tell you our plans for the next couple weeks. Alright, so our potatoes are long gone. We uh, harvested them a while back. We'll put carrots in here, some fall carrots, in these raised beds. Bed, um, white potatoes, red potatoes, and purple potatoes. Uh, it seemed to be the red potatoes did the best. The purple potatoes we liked, but we're really too impressed with them, they're just purple. But the uh, white potatoes, when it really got hot, they didn't do well. But the red potatoes held up pretty good, and we was able to get quite a harvest out of the uh, red potatoes. Now our cucumbers really didn't do too well. Uh, we kind of failed at trying to grow them by seed. So we ended up going to kind of keep it barking. We ended up going to tractor supply and getting the plants and just planted them. That might be the reason why they didn't do well. But what we did here, I'm sorry, um, what we're going to do here is uh, harvest these for the pigs and tear these down and we're going to do uh, some green beans for the fall. Um, we did green beans up here, we canned a bunch of green beans already. Um, these were, which, which beans I think? Oh, I lost you. Um, we got quite a harvest out of these, so the, this is going to come down because it's knocking over the uh, Yeah, this was uh, just like a little four foot fence we use as a trellis, and it didn't hold up very well. We need to do uh, 
put them on the uh, cattle panel trellis. That should do. They should do better that way. But we did get quite a bit bit of beans out of these, so we're happy Our with tomato that. plants. We just keep getting tomatoes. Uh, black beauties, we like them. They seem meatier than regular tomatoes, but uh, I don't know if we're going to grow as many next year because they're not, weren't that, that impressed with them. And um, when we take our vegetables to the farmer's market, um, a lot of people down here um, don't really like the black ones. They want their traditional red tomatoes. So the traditional tomatoes, the uh, sunburst, they're the ones that sell the best. These eh, don't really sell that good. Okay, so peppers did okay. Uh, we got these, uh, I think these were called Chinese peppers. They're, they did okay. We got a bunch of them here. We got some bell peppers. Let's come over here. Nice bell, bell peppers. peppers. Yeah. Yeah, these are Chinese. You got a bunch of those. We got our, uh, supposed to be sweet peppers, but because we had them close to hot peppers, they got a little spice to them, which I don't mind, but... They're not that, that great. A lot of See, banana. we still got a lot of these little sweet banana peppers, which are, because they're cross-pollinated, they're a little, a little hot now. And this area here, of course, we're going to uh, start tilling it up again. As you, as you can see, it was just overrun with weeds. So, uh, But Brian's going to till it up. We're going to do our kales and our greens, some radishes, and uh, I'm going to go through my seeds and see what else we can plant today. And over here is another row of tomatoes that are still doing good. Still got a lot of cherry tomatoes coming out. A few black beauties in here. We got some romas on the other end. And we're still getting lots of uh, tomatoes out of these. So tomatoes did pretty good. Those are the beautiful sunburst tomatoes. They are really good. They get a really big size. We got a bunch of those coming up. Yep. These are garden helpers. Sierra. And Con. And our newest dog, Con, who's getting big quick. He's a fast growing dog. We're excited to get our fall garden started. Um, I'm really excited about the kale and the collard greens and uh, the mustard greens. I love making greens. So I'm excited about that. What are you excited? What's your, you excited about? I want to put them carrots in. I love, I love the carrots out of the garden. Yeah, the carrots we got out of the garden, they might not have been the prettiest this year, but we got probably 10 quarts of carrots canned and um, we had a bunch in a roast and it's just the taste is just so awesome. Um, Store-bought carrots really don't have no taste compared to the carrots you grow on your homestead. So I think that's what our plans are for for the fall garden. We're going to wait probably another week um, right to try to... Yeah we'll wait about another week or two before we uh, actually plant it. Yeah, because we got a lot of tilling to go. Uh, we want to let these tomatoes produce. I think we're going to let them stay up and just till this area right here and start planting in this area. Uh, let them keep producing as much as they can. Uh, and I'll keep eating. So I um, hope you guys like the video. If you like, please give us a thumb up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, please share. And um, we'll see you real soon on our next video. Thanks, guys.